This is one of our Pro R Turbo R forged bead locks. We are going to go over a tire installation on it. First thing I'll do is check the valve stem, make sure it's seated and correctly. And it don't wiggle and that it's not gonna leak. That one looks good. Get all these bolts out of here off the bead lock using a half inch socket impact. Set the ring down. Spray the tire here real quick. Oops. Next, we'll set it down over the face and you just, you'll work it around here. Want to make sure it's seated all the way on the bead surface, all the way around. If it's not, you won't get an even seal. All right. Add some soap so we know if we got leaks. And we'll throw our beadlock back on. Pay attention to get the logos lined up. And we'll start one. And I always start in a four pattern. Basically a plus. One on top, one on bottom. One on either side. These will be uneven. You'll have three between, four between, three between, four between. And I snug them down with a quarter inch drive ratchet just to start with. That way you're not really overdoing it. All right, got those snugged up. And I'll mark them. So I know which is which four I'm going to be starting is when starting with when I do my cross tightening. Go back in here. Add all the rest of the bolts. That one there is a little tight. I don't ever run a one that's tight down with a with an impact just in case it's trying to cross thread so i'll go back on any of those that were tight which is just these two and use the ratchet just to make sure they're not cross or anything weird just fine just fine I just run them till they touch. I don't want to put any impact on them at all. This is just to save time. No, I'm not torquing them down with the impact. All right, they're all ran down. I'll start trying to tighten them somewhat even as best I can here. Go to my first four. Then I go to clockwise, one space over. So one space over, get about the same tension. One space, one space, one space, two, 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 three, 
three, three, three. And the last one will be four. We have four and four. And I'll do that one more time just to check tension. Next is the torque wrench. Start with the sequence. So uh, first time I torque it, I will torque it at 10 foot pounds. And anytime I do anywhere close to a little bit more than like a 90 degree turn, um, I usually will do another sequence and retorque it at that same torque again. Um, and then I'll finish up with 18 foot pounds. Definitely had more than 90 degree turns in that, so I'm gonna go back and do this all again. And that time still did, so we're gonna go back one more time on it. Readjust my torque to 20 foot pounds. Sorry, not 20, 18 foot pounds. Lock it in, same situation. Most of the time I can get this in one shot, but I'll do one at the end just to be safe on the torque here. That one's a little loose. And one last go around. good pull this off and I'll drop it down onto a bucket That allows the wheel to fall so that I can get the air put in it. And they take about maybe 10 PSI, if that, to set. But um, I usually run them closer to 20 just to make sure they're set really well. Plus it helps them stretch. <laughs> 